let, let me ask you a question. Uh, Custom Auto was never married, never had any children. Uh, there great was man. a woman. He was a great man. Right. Well, he, there, there was a woman who was part of his operation, Camille but they Ewell. were not romantic. Camille Ewell. Camille right. Ewell. Exactly. There was always rumors that, that Cuss was possibly gay or something like that. Is that any truth to that? I don't know. None. When it comes to as far as I, as far as I know, none. But okay. I can't control what people say, but none. He was a man's okay. man. He grew up in Brook, Brookner Boulevard in Everlast, near Everlast factory. Me and him drove down there to get equipment all the time. He would drive me nuts before we could get to the warehouse to buy the equipment. He'd go by his old house. Teddy, that's where I grew up. Across the, I know, cuz. I've been here 452 times. I know, cuz. Across the street, Murderers Incorporated. They, they, they were there. Yep, that's right. That was his neighborhood. All right, cuz. I know nothing about any of that stuff. All I know is he was a great trainer. He was a great mentor. Um, and like everybody, he was human. He was human. And at the end, I think he got tested in those human ways where he wanted to have one more champion. And, yeah. and I, I feel if he wasn't at that point in his life where he was getting older and his whole life was boxing, he once told me, to your point, he said, Teddy, you know why I never got married? I never got married because it would have been unfair. So what do you mean? Because I never got married because it would have been unfair to a woman and to a child to marry them because my marriage was this, boxing. And I could never do, be a proper father or husband. So that's why I never got married. And when a man like that dedicates his whole life to what he dedicated, and he starts getting to the horizon. He starts getting to the sunset, to the end. The only thing he's got left, what's he got left after all those years of giving everything to that one thing? The only thing he's got left is legacy, reputation, what he's going to, that's the only thing he's got left. The only, the only valuable thing that he has is what he leaves behind. And he wanted to leave behind the legacy of being a, the greatest trainer and having the greatest heavyweight champ of all time. And you know what? When he left, he did. After you left, in 1985, Custom Auto passes away. And then in 1986, Mike Tyson becomes the youngest heavyweight champion ever at age 20. Which is what which, Cus wanted. Which is, you know, which basically beat the previous record of Floyd Patterson, who became heavyweight champ at 21, I believe. Yeah. So Cuz got the two youngest heavy. He's got the two youngest heavyweight champions of all time, and arguably the most sensational one, whatever. But or the talent, one of the most talented ones ever, could punch with either hand, quickness and speed combination, un, un unmatched, unmatched in some ways. So, um, and ferocious and 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 a meteor. In sensation, uh, in 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 promotional world, uh, you know, other than Muhammad Ali, better known than any other fighter, though, though he had it all, he had everything, but he also got out before the other stuff could come. Before all the other stuff could come, Cuz got out before. In other words. Cuz had what he needed to die. And again, call me cold, whatever you want to figure, call me. I really could care less. But he could die now because you had to understand Cuz. It was all about... It was all about greatness in boxing. It was all about having a great heavyweight champion. That, 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 was, that was what life was about. That that was that was it, and he accomplished that, and he accomplished it without being touched. He he left before all the stuff, other stuff that was always there. You know, as far as behavioral things, a treatment of people, whatever, whatever you're putting, whatever. I don't have to say it. 